Hey everybody, Max Rich here, and that is a classical piece by Niccolo Paganini called Minuetto, and it is from his 26th sonata. And uh, for those of you who know, Paganini was just like uh, the Eddie Van Halen of the classical era. Um, he was a, an amazing violinist and composer, and this song, uh, or this piece, I should say, uh, is really sort of like um, a stereotypical Paganini classical piece. Uh, it's not insanely fast and sh shredding and all the rest of it, and it's not um, ultra romantic the way some of his stuff is. It's sort of like right in the middle. And for you uh, guitarists who, you know, maybe grew up playing blues and rock and stuff like this and want to venture into the classical world, um, this is a really good piece uh, for those of you who have a little bit of background in classical music, like just the, the tiniest bit. Like, so if you've played Minuet in G by Bach, or if you've played, you know, uh, Ode to Joy on guitar or something like this, you know, so if you've played like the most s simplistic, basic, classical pieces on guitar, this is a great next step for you. Um, and even if you haven't played any classical pieces on guitar, but you have sufficient technique on guitar and you can really sort of maneuver your fingers and you understand, um, you understand sort of uh, the, the, very, the variability in your right hand when you're playing with your fingers and not a pick, then this is a great lesson for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through uh, the piece um, break it down bit by bit, phrase by phrase, and sort of teach you what I'm doing. And also, while I'm doing that, sort of teach you little techniques to improve your playing uh, while we're going through it. So, for example, how to stop notes from ringing while you're playing other notes. And little, thing, little technical uh, things that really help improve the musicality of your playing. Um, and the cool part about all this stuff is that it doesn't necessarily have to stay within the classical realm. You can easily translate these ideas and these concepts to whatever style, you know, anything. Like if you're playing, even if you're not playing with finger style, you can still use these muting concepts and the other stuff I'm going to talk about uh, in jazz, rock, funk, country, whatever style you're in, the ideas will translate. So it's a really good sort of well-rounded way of not only getting into the classical world, but getting into some finer um, musical techniques as well. So stick around. 